Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hooker here, and let's fix that pesky USB problem. If you're using Windows 10, 8.1, or 7, you're going to see a start button to the lower left hand side. Let's go to that right now and click it. Once we have our menu open, I want you to click the control panel. You should open up another window. Go up to the upper right hand little corner of the window that just opened up, and rather than hit category, let's open up to large icons. Now we're going to find the device manager and we're going to click that. Another window will open up which will be the device manager. We're going to go to the bottom to the universal serial bus controls and we're going to open that by clicking the little arrow. Once we open that, you might see some triangles with exclamation marks next to these little icons which are the USBs. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the first one with that little icon and you're going to notice that a menu opens up on the top here once you click that. Now we're going to do these one at a time. For the first one, we're going to hit this little computer with the down arrow and just disable it. We're going to hit yes. We're going to disable that. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to hit disable. And yes. Excellent. Now, once you have all the ones that are have the yellow exclamation mark next to them disabled, we're going to re-enable them. So start off by the first one. We're going to go back up to that little computer that once had the down little arrow mark and if you notice now it has a little up arrow mark. And we're just going to re-enable that. Excellent. Excellent. Now try your USB ports. See if they're working. If they're not, we still have the device manager screen open. What could be going on is that with your computer, your computer already has a card in there that runs the USB. That would be this Intel series chip family in my case. But when with every Windows CD, it has a generic driver that comes with it. So let's say you don't have any drivers for your computer. Uh, the generic drivers would kick in in order for you to be able to use the computer until you install the drivers that go to your computer. So the generic drivers might be conflicting with the drivers that go to your computer. Now before you do this next step, make sure you have another computer with internet access or someone you know with internet access or a CD that you have lying around, some way that we could fix this. Alright, so this next step is very important. Before we do the further step, I want you to update the drivers first and hit search automatic for driver software. Alright, everything looks like it's fine on this. Do it again for the next one. Everything looks like it's fine. Alright, we're still having problems after the update. I want you to right click on the generic drivers. Remember, remember this, on the generic drivers only, this is very important, don't click the other ones, just the generic drivers. I want you to right click on them, and I want you to go down to properties, I want you to go to drivers, and I want you to uninstall. Alright? This can also be done by just right clicking and uninstall. Then, turn off the computer, and then turn it back on this should fix the problem. If it doesn't, just leave a comment in the below, the little space below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and hopefully we can figure this out together. Have a wonderful evening.